those who don't know me, I'm Mike Guerreri. I teach English and theater here at Nutley and I'm the advisor of our uh, Nutley High School Thespian Society Troop 4757. So for those who do not know, uh, International Thespian Society is the internationally recognized honor society for theater students. Uh, we started our troop about four years ago um, and it's been growing and, and uh, you know, just getting better and we've been pursuing more projects every year. One of the things that we do is our fall play, which has sort of evolved into a student directed black box production over the last few years and I couldn't be happier because it really shows the strength of our cast and crew of creative young um, thespians that we have here. Uh, everything that you're about to see tonight is completely student run, uh, student directed, student performed, and um, I have very little to do. I'm really just sort of functioning more in a in a supervisory capacity, offering my classroom and the space, giving you know the um, little bit of tidbits of advice that I can give here and there, but this is really uh, their baby. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to our true president and tonight's director, Allison Scorson. Hi, thank you all so, so much for coming out to see this production we just ran. Our first run a little bit ago went pretty well. Hopefully it goes even better this time. Um, first of all, I want to thank Mr. Guerreri again for letting us use his space for our rehearsals and for the final show. Um, this is something that's never been done before, so it's you know really great that he welcomed us with open arms and let us use his incredible stage. Um, then I also want to thank my assistant director, Luca, over here for all of his help. Friends, um, they are so <laughs> hardworking, and I'm so proud of them for the first show, and I'm sure I'll be proud of them after tonight, um, second show. But yeah, so we actually our, our lights coordinator is out today, so I'm going to be running the lights. But <laughs> other than that, we're actually waiting on one more guest. She's running up now, so he's here, uh, and uh, then we're going to get started. So again, thank you so much for coming out. I hope you enjoy the show. Hope you have a good laugh. And yeah, so we'll start as soon as she gets here. But yes, thank you again so much for coming out. Talk amongst yourselves. Yes, talk to chat amongst yourselves. University differs from others in the state. 
See, we're a small school with smaller class sizes and personal attention, but we have the resources of a larger state school. Um, these resources include uh, of intern of, uh, great internships and a faculty of practicing professionals. Well, that's great to hear. When I first applied to state, one of my um, biggest fears was actually being in large lecture halls. Well, that is exactly the environment we try to avoid here. Now, have you started thinking about your major yet? That's my mother you were talking about here! <laughs> <laughs> Did just ask to see my mom in a two-piece bikini? No, I didn't. No. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, allow me to explain. I have a really rare mental condition called chronic quasim mixitus. It's a neurological condition that renders a person's incapable of hearing a question correctly. And by correctly, you mean? Every time you ask me a question, I will hear a completely, completely different question. <laughs> well, Harold, I don't know what I can do exactly. An interview is primarily the asking of questions. <laughs> so if a deaf person walked in here, you could tell them no, you won't understand a thing I'm saying? Like, no. No, I would make sure a translator fluent in sign language was able to aid the interview. Well, I am sorry, but the AMA has not considered CQM as a legitimate medical condition. But I try, try to live my life in a normal and healthy manner. Now, I would appreciate it if you would treat me as any other prospective student. Now, I suppose you're right. Well, shall we continue? It's in Argentina, isn't it? <laughs> sure is. Well, um, <laughs> Um, what extracurricular activities are you interested in? Uh, seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa Blotch. We both had braces. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of awkward. It's a fire girl! <laughs> What's your favorite subject at school? Um, I'll take South High Road. Um, except during rush hour. <laughs> Color. Every Sunday for church. <laughs> is it just me or is this completely pointless? I'm sorry, I don't know anything about the salivary gland. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that went well. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Oh, do you need directions back to the I-40? Uh, Cookie Monster. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta have a thing for you guys. <laughs>
can't take my eyes off you. And action! I'm sorry, I thought you said this was for a documentary? Cut! Come on! <laughs> can't you just do your job? We all want this to be quick. Let this be quick. She said this was for a documentary. Yes, it's for a documentary. It's a series of documentaries preparing on the T4 network on Sundays at 10 p.m. T4, the Teen Reality Music Network? With all those terrible <laughs> shows about spoiled birthday parties and karaoke drama queens? Okay, you're a fan! Look, we're not asking you to do anything crazy, just ask a few questions. No! I can't. I will not be on that channel. <laughs> Looks like you should have looked at the contract. If you don't do this, you'll be fined $20,000. 20000 Look, we're not asking you to do anything crazy. Just ask a few questions. We'll be out of your hair. Fine. All right. And Kimberly, remember what we talked about. And action. Okay. Kimberly. It's pronounced Kim Bar L. No E. The E is silent. <laughs> okay, Kim Bar L. <laughs> what made you interested in attending this university? First of all, to party. Second of all, to meet some totes hot guys. Like totes and totes. <laughs> Don't you say? Well, anything else you'd like to do at this institution? Do you have a preferred major, possibly? What do you mean? Ma your major, your college degree? What do you mean degree? Oh, like how hot it is outside? <laughs> I'm sorry, do you not know what a college degree is? No, I'm totally dumb. But at least I'm not old. Like you! <laughs> and guts! Perfect, kid. You are a completely terrible person. You are stupid. That is exactly what we look for on reality TV. <laughs> for my professionals, I should say how creepy this interviewer was that she was like, Hitting on me or something. <laughs> oh, perfect. I got some shot that we went slow motion. We'll take a look real crazy. <laughs> Hi, is the dean in? No, no, you can you leave a message. Uh, just ask him how he would feel about the school appearing on a documentary. <laughs> Extremely competitive. The life of the party. 
I like your school's aggressive economic program. It ties to Harvard Business School and its Greek social scene. Gonna pledge Alpha Phi Beta or Delta Chi Delta, depending on the pledge class. My stats are well above your average, so let's make this happen. If you're in the boat, I'm riding the ship. <laughs> we good? No, not at all. Cranberries, baby. <laughs> What up, buttercup? Yeah, just had this lame face to face. I'm on my way. Are you kidding me? Nail it. It's the breads you're talking about here. Place, but 
you might want to consider some kind of therapy. <laughs> <laughs> therapy, yes. I saw a therapist once. It was a chilly day in autumn, and I am feeling optimistic. <laughs>
and they kept trying and trying to get her out of it. Like doctors spent years trying to revive her, but they never figured it out. I see, so this maybe made you interested in healthcare or medicine? No, it just made me jealous. This woman, she was having like these tubes feed her and breathe for her. And I put the TV on all day. You know how breathing is just sometimes so much work sometimes, you know? <laughs> So, so this inspired you to be in a coma. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> I'm just tired. <laughs> yeah, me too. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
is completely drenched. Oh my gosh. Needless to say, that's the last time I ever went to SeaWorld. <laughs> well, I gotta tell you, Ben, everything looks great. Solid GPA, your stats, amazing, and your essay, to be quite honest, was moving. Well, this is such a great university. I'd be honored to attend. Hey, well, we'd be lucky to have you. Have you applied to any other schools? No, just here. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> so? Uh, yes. I'm in there. Well, no, I gotta pass this along. Supervisors! Uh, it's a process, you know? I can't officially... Sit down. <laughs> Sit down, won't you? Uh, is there a uh, problem? That depends on you. You see, for reasons I can't entirely explain to you at this moment, it is vital that I attend this university. I've been meticulously planning for this day. Years of SAT prep, AP classes, all in the hopes of being able to attend. I was hoping to hear an answer today. Well, I don't have the authority to just let you in today. There are forces at play, your friend. Forces that you cannot possibly comprehend. But trust me. It is very vital, not just for me, but for the entire student body and faculty that I enrolled for the fall semester. Many lives hang in balance. <laughs> you don't want to be held responsible for the loss of a life, do you? Uh, of course not, but how is me letting you in today going to save lives? The world is a series of connections and plans. Every human being affects another. Every decision has a consequence, and this decision this decision will be the most important one you'll ever make. Ben, you're being incredibly vague, and besides, it's not as simple as me letting you in. Oral agreement is legally binding in this state. So in fact, it is that simple. Ben, what I can tell you is that it's practically a done deal. I'm going to give you a great recommendation, and with your staff- That's not what I'm asking for. <laughs> It's not really it was a great interview by- I'm not leaving until I get my answer. Well, you're gonna have to because I have another perspective coming in at one. No, you don't. <laughs> Your four o'clock canceled this morning. <laughs> you don't have another appointment until Rebecca Smith at 4.45. How did you- <laughs> Did you hack into my email? <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what happened here, but I'm going to have to call security. Hello, I... Hello? Phone troubles? <laughs> <laughs> Door's locked. And we're ten stories up, so the windows wouldn't be a very safe option either. <laughs> Who are you? A name is not a label, and I have many. But that's not what's important right now. What's important is that you tell me right now, exactly what I was hoping to hear. Then, if I could, I would, it's just... What's wrong, friend? <laughs> <laughs> it's only an outage. Circuits break all the time. Please, I don't have any real authority here, and acceptance from me would be meaningless. Then there's no reason not to say it. Why are you doing this? I'm not doing this. You're doing this. And it can all go away with three little words. But put it- No! Those aren't the right words! Say it! Just say it! Okay! You've been accepted! You've been accepted! You'll be enrolled in the fall semester upon hearing of your acceptance! Oh man! That's great! I can't even- I gotta call my mom! It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you.
diamond, there must be a jack of all trades in clubs. Still not my card. Darn it. I was practicing that one all week. Listen, I'm very, I'm very happy that you have hobbies outside of school, but if we could just get back to... Oh, sure, 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 sure. Right after you check your card underneath your seat. Rules on how to play Texas Hold'em. <laughs> <laughs> cool. But a king? Hey, that's actually my card. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's try this. Pick a number between one and five thousand. Uh, wait, no. First, tell me your favorite color, and then pick a number. <laughs> <laughs>
you enjoyed it. <laughs> One more time, please. Incredible. <laughs> to an amazing director, her first time, by the way. Yeah. Miss, yeah. the one and only Allison Scorso! Yeah. I don't know if it would have been possible without everyone standing in this room right now. You are all amazing. <laughs> She's too humble. <laughs> but yes, thank you all so much again for coming out. It really means the world. And I'm really proud of all of you. <laughs> so proud. Oh, my God.